my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with another video for this Glow Up series, okay? And this Glow Up season, I'm actually going to teach you how to find your personal style, okay? A lot of you ladies ask me all the time, Morgan, how did you find your style? Why do you dress so cute? You guys ask me a lot of questions about that, and so today's video is all about kind of how to find your modest style and how to glow up your fashion this summer, okay? So if you are here for this boot, all I want you to do is make Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube family. You have already followed me over on the gram because that's where I serve a lot of my OOTDs, my outfits of the days, okay? And don't forget your favorite look on here, always comment that down below. So real quick, we're gonna have to pull out the old the old and the now, okay? Because the reality of it is, I didn't just wake up one day knowing my personal style, okay? So before I got saved, I'm gonna show you pictures of how I dressed, all right? And actually, before I got saved, I dressed pretty promiscuous. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I wore a lot of things that was super, super low cut. I wore a lot of little, little things, real tight, real short. There was never um, a modest thought at all to that, my vibe. I was a young woman. I was like a teenager. And so before I got saved, I just wore whatever I felt like wearing. And most of it had a lot to do with the breast out almost. Like when I go back and look at old photos or even stuff I remember wearing, I'm like, oh my gosh, why did you wear that? But also guys, I wasn't saved. So when I go back and look at those outfits, I'm like, wow, I could never wear that today. But then I go look at the outfits I wore not too long after I got saved. And to be honest with you, I kind of hit the confusion stage where, okay, so I wasn't dressing the way I was dressing before. So I started wearing long skirts. I almost had a Pentecostal look to me um, because I honestly felt like that was the only way to be a good Christian was to wear long stuff and like, um, and try not to show nothing. Like there was a season where I wouldn't even have my shoulders out, right? It was like, I was so caught up on like trying to look like the perfect Christian and so I wasn't really caught up on being it. I was trying, I was being it, I was trying my best to be as well, but I was more caught up on how to look it. Like how does a woman look in Christian Christianity? So I would look how women would wear long dresses or they was always wearing dresses or skirts. So I would try to mimic that, right? So I wanna show you those two looks. So what I used to dress like, okay, before I was saved, what I started dressing like, like right after I got saved or a few years within trying to kind of look like the perfect Christian, and then what I dress like today. And if you really look at these, it's actually the perfect middle, okay? So it's no longer how promiscuous I used to dress, but it's also not the long Pentecostal skirts either, right? So I have found my middle place. And if I wear those, that's because I've decided to dress those up in a new creative way, right? But I still wear those. I have plenty of those skirts in my closet. I love those skirts. And I have dresses that are pretty lengthy and long. I love those. The only thing is, is I choose to dress them up in different ways now. So today I'm going to take you with me on this video. I'm going to show you how I take pieces to this day that may not look modest or even look really appropriate and I turn them into something that feels appropriate for me and for my modesty. But a quick disclaimer, modesty looks different for every single person, okay? So this is why I'm teaching you how to find your own personal style because I knew that the way I want to dress before I was saved was not appropriate. But I also knew the long charts up here and the long skirts and all the cover I knew that didn't quite feel like Morgan either so I've decided to find the middle right so I'm gonna go through my closet today and I'm gonna put some looks together and I'm gonna show you some pieces that I got from Shein that I actually pair to really show off my personal style so if you're here for this boo let's get into this video so what I'm going to tell you is I have learned what looks good to me but I also have learned what I should not be wearing okay so the reality is there's some things I see online that are so cute but then I automatically know that's just I, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull that off right but then there are other pieces that I think are extremely cute and I'm like I think I could work with it so for example I actually got some really new big wide-legged high-waisted jeans from Shein these jeans I got everything is going to be linked down below and I loved these jeans. I love the way they hit me, but I also, shockingly enough, I love, love the cuts in it. I'm really not a big cut girl like this, but I actually decided I really liked it. So I thought, okay, that's going to be a little different for me. Try it out, right? So this was something that really didn't challenge me too much besides the cuts, but I thought, okay, I like these jeans, and these jeans are actually one of my favorites now. But I also decided to not only get those jeans, I decided to get those jeans 
with this particular top. Now, when I looked at this top, it looked a little bit of a crop to me. And so for me, crop tops are like, they're not, they're not always the best things to go for, especially if you don't know how crop they're going to be. But what I liked about this shirt is it had this zipper. So I could go as high as I wanted or for others, they could go as low as they wanted. And I liked that look. So I thought this would be a great top that you maybe could turn into more of a modest top if you wear the right type of jeans with it. And you also make sure you come, you know, you have the zipper that is adjustable and you can kind of, you know, play around with it that fits your needs and your, you know, your comfortability so and also though with these jeans I decided that since they're so different and unique I would pair the top of it with like a bodysuit I have loved that look with pairing bodysuits with really big jeans I love that look and so that's what I did and I thought that that turned out so cute and that's just something for my closet like I automatically know if there's something I don't need I don't know what to wear a particular day as long as I throw on a nice bodysuit with these jeans that's an easy outfit for me and I feel comfortable and I feel beautiful and I still feel modest in it right I feel like Morgan I don't feel like I'm overly covered but I also don't feel like I'm overly exposed so that's what I liked about having some really nice pair of jeans that you can throw on with different tops with the next thing I got guys and this was a challenge I got a little black dress okay like it's short it's some great quality it's stretchy but look how dainty this is up here like literally this is what I got okay and I wore it in my introduction video and when I seen how like whoa it's way way too dainty for me right like personally I could not just wear this dress going out to grab food like I, I just can't do this so I put a blazer over it in my introduction video which you see I put a blazer over it like a blazer dress to kind of add additional length and coverage but in this particular video I said since something like this I know I would not be comfortable wearing this out and about it's too short also it's too dainty at, at the top so what I decided to do is if I could if I can't add length to it then what I can do is I can add something under it and I paired it with a white button up and I thought that this just made it really look a lot more put together and it didn't quite feel like a short little dainty dress. Like dainty dresses are cute, but I know for me, like I need something a lot more stronger up here. And if the dress is already short, I don't want to have all this exposed, right? I would rather this could be more covered if it's going to be a little more shorter. So for me, that's what I did. I paired it with a white under a butt, white button up and I just threw on some Nike dunks with or some Nikes. And I really thought that that was so fire. I thought that looked so good. And I was like, you know what? I like this look like this is a way I could wear this particular dress with just some nice tennis shoes or something and feel real kind of sporty, but also don't feel like this dress is way too much to be wearing. OK, so I did, did, did love that. So the next thing I got to tell you guys is about is blazers. You guys know if you watch me on Instagram, if you see my OTDs, I wear blazers all the time. And one of these blazers I got from Shein is this thick. I mean, this thing is a thick light pink blazer from Shein. Like the quality of this blazer is so amazing and it's light pink and y'all know I love pink obviously. And I love to wear blazers with shorts. Now, if it's like the fall or the winter, I would gladly throw on some skinnies or some nice pair of jeans with it. But since it's summer here where I'm at in Oklahoma, now if you're in Africa, I know it's winter over there, okay? But right here in the US, it's summer. So that's why I put shorts with this. And so with wearing shorts with blazers i feel like that really just brings the outfit to life and if you're somebody who says i don't really i like wearing shorts but i want to add some additional coverage I, I paired a white tank top with some blue jean shorts that i got from shein as well with this blazer over it and honestly it really elevates the look so it doesn't just look like you're wearing a white tank top and short outfit when you throw a really nice blazer over it that looks really really good okay so we're gonna stay on the blazer train for just a little bit longer Longer. this particular blazer you have seen in one of my other lookbooks it is a green neon blazer and there is somebody in my life who does not like this blazer okay they be like girl get away from that blazer I love this blazer because it's so oversized and so if you're somebody who wants to just zhuzh up your particular outfit you're wearing let's say I put on a white bodysuit with a pair of t shorts if you're wearing a bodysuit and shorts and you're like I want a little more coverage you know for me a blazer is so great especially a bold creative blazer those just add so much emphasis to your outfit and when you wear a bolder statement like that a bolder color with some real neutral you know basic colors like white 
it really pops and so that's why i pair these oversized blazers and to be honest with you i could take off the shorts and put on jeans especially i do that in the fall so it just depends on your season and what you're going for i love wearing shorts if you're someone who doesn't quite like the shorts and blazers look girl throw on some jeans with it it'll still look so good and you'll still feel covered and you'll still feel like yourself you'll feel modest you'll feel like your best self so i love wearing blazers also too because i like to embody like a businesswoman like a ceo right so that's why i like to wear blazers i've been wearing blazers for years even when i was not a businesswoman nor a ceo nothing like that i was still going to thrift stores and buying blazers because i love that look so this is another blazer i have that i literally love this blazer i love that it's so oversized and that's a key oversized blazer some people might think oh my gosh that just makes me look even bigger but if you wear something under it that's a little more fitting like the shorts or like a bodysuit right with some jeans and you kind of you know show a little bit more of your shape the blazer kind of covers that but you still know you got that shape underneath okay okay sis okay all right Okay, ladies, so this next outfit for me is kind of still sticking to the businesswoman CEO vibes. And what I got from Shein is this black silky button up. Like, I love this black silky button up. It's so cute. I really like this. It's simple. You can wear this with a pair of jeans. But if you want to dress this up or you want to do a more bold statement, I actually paired this black silky top with some hot pink pants. This is actually... This is actually a pants suit I have. I have the actual blazer that matches these. But for this particular look, I said, why not for a day at the office, go with the black silky top that looks a little more dressy. But instead of just doing jeans like a casual day, dress it up with some dress pants and you will still feel put together. You'll be ready for whatever meetings you have to do. Or if you got to run around and do something, you still look very well put together. So I want to encourage you, don't shy away from pants, like dress pants that are tan or nude or brown or light colors or even a bold statement like pink i love pink so that's a bold statement to wear um but even if it's some nice black dress pants don't run away from that because having the right dress pants can really elevate a look but even wearing this black silky button up if i wanted to really tone it down all i could have had to do was add a lot of little gold necklaces or like a chain with some jeans and some tennis shoes and this would be a great asset to your closet so there's a way that I can still dress modest, but still look fashionable. And the key about be dressing modest is for me is I don't ever want to look like I'm trying to. I want girls to say, oh my gosh, her outfit is so cute. And then realize that she's not really showing that much. Do you know what I mean? But I never want it to be like, oh, she's dressing modest. Because if you can look at it and see, then for me, I know I'm not dressing the way that I truly want to dress and the way that really shows my personality, right? And so I'm really kind of bubbly. I'm kind of loud. I love color. I'm just a real, I, I like that my clothes represent my personality. And that's a key for you, sis. If you're trying to find your personal style, you want your clothes to represent your personality. You want your clothes to feel like you. And there are seasons when I would put something on and I would wear it, but I knew I didn't feel like myself. You know, I would wear the long shirts and they would cover everything and I'd wear the long skirts. And I always kind of felt like a first lady when I was like 22, 23. I'm like, there's no need to feel like a first lady right now, sis. Like, there's no need to, to look like this, right? So every first, not all first ladies look like that, but I'm talking about like the you know the Methodist Pentecostals I was definitely carrying that type of vibe all right let me show you this next outfit and honestly guys this was me going out on a whim with this next fit this next fit was a two-piece set it was a long like pencil skirt with the black tube top now when I seen this I automatically knew the tube top I would not be able to pull off even though I put a blazer under it that's just to me not modest enough so what I decided to do is still get the set but instead of putting the black tube top on, I just kind of did away with that. It's just probably in a drawer somewhere. But I was like, I want the pencil skirt. Since this was a long, it was a stretchy fabric, I wanted the pencil skirt. So what I did is I took the pencil skirt and I bought a shirt to go with it, which was this zebra top right here. And I will say zebra's really in style right now. Like that's the print right now of the season, I think. And so this particular top stood out to me and I thought, this is a great way to take a outfit that was supposed to be pretty sexy and you can kind of add a modest vibe to it with the right blouse on top. So pencil skirts, I don't think will ever go out of style, no matter if you're trying to dress something up, you know, I think pencil skirts are going to be really great for you. And if you never, if you're kind of more insecure with your body or you don't really want the booty out, you can always untuck the shirt and let the shirt kind of hang. Or if you're someone who doesn't, you can always make sure you tuck it in the front, but not in the back. That's kind of what I usually do with a lot of my fits as well. But 
this pencil skirt, although it was a two-piece set, just taking this one piece and pairing it with a nice blouse allowed it to turn into from a pretty probably sexy outfit to actually a more modest outfit that I know I could wear around to events or something of that nature and feel very beautiful in and feel very covered in as well. So this was another outfit that I took from something kind of more sexy to something more modestly chic like I like it. All right, this next set, I know people ain't gonna lie. I don't know, I don't know people, I feel like somebody in the comments is gonna be like, no sis. But I've shown this skirt before and this is actually one of my favorite skirts. It's one from Shein and it is this little ruffled blue jean skirt. I love this little skirt because it's zippy and it's stretchy, like it hits me right. It kinda, when you're a hippie girl, if you're a hippie girl, right, you got that little stomach a little bit, certain skirts will just show all that versus this skirt has a stretch to it and it has these little ruffles at the bottom that gives it an additional length that I love. So this particular skirt, I went ahead, went ahead. I went ahead and paired it with a black long sleeve, kind of almost turtleneck vibe uh, t-shirt. And this particular shirt, I actually didn't even get from Shein. I got it from Walmart. I think it was like seven, eight dollars. And I paired it with this skirt and I also paired it with just some tennis shoes. And to be honest with you, I feel like this was something for me that was like, you know, kind of chic. It had a little style to it, although I was dressing it way down. But the blue jean skirt really made it pop. So that's something I will tell you. For you, it might be some shorts or it might not be a skirt as short or quite with this type of look to it. To you, you could have paired this with a different type of skirt or something like that. But wearing a long sleeve top that gives you a lot of coverage with something a little more shorter on the bottom, what that actually does for you is it it doesn't make it over like overtly sexy. Like to be honest with you, wearing this top, this top I have on right here with this particular skirt, there's a lot of exposure, there's a lot of skin. So wearing a shirt on top that covers a lot of your skin, but then wearing something on the bottom that shows a little bit more, what that does is it kind of balances it out versus having all this skin out and then all the skin out on the bottom. like. You know what I mean? I try to balance my looks out. I never want it to look like I'm showing way too much skin. I want it to be like, oh, the outfit is cute. And I never want it to feel like, wow, I don't feel comfortable. And that's one thing about me is when I'm putting things together, I can quickly know what I feel comfortable in and what I don't. Like if something is way too short for me or if something is way too exposed for me, it just never, it never lit gets the light of day because I don't feel comfortable. And it doesn't feel like the best version of Morgan, right? There are different versions of Morgan that I showed you pictures of, but the best, best version of Morgan knows what that woman looks like and I wanna try to embody her, right? So this particular outfit, I loved. I thought it was fun. I thought it was playful. And it felt really like me. Like, this was actually the funnest outfit to, my, to me because it felt like something I truly would wear and I would feel comfortable in and I would feel cute in. Also, with that particular outfit, I actually got this bag from Shein. It's just a short little rhinestone bag. It's actually pretty great quality. Um, I will leave this link down below. But I thought, like, this was such a cute bag. I've used this quite a bit since I've gotten it. But... Having a really nice little handbag, even if you got one from Target, I have a few really nice handbags from Target, um, just that's going to actually add to your outfit. So I want to encourage you, never skimp out on accessories. If it's throwing on a pair of earrings, if it's throwing on a necklace, whatever it may be, never skip out on accessories or even like a bracelet because what's going to happen is that's going to elevate your look, okay? And I know I've been the girl for years to just be like, oh, I don't really wear jewelry. I don't wear anything. Even if it's small little dainty ones they always elevate a look so last but not least i got a hot girl summer type of top okay when i say hot girl summer you probably know what i'm talking about but we having a holy girl summer so i want to show you how i took this little bitty top with like this big wide opening and i turned it into something a little bit more modest okay so the reality is when i seen this top i loved it but i didn't love this and i didn't but i'm a real girl where i love that one shoulder look but then when I looked at it, it looked a little cropped when I got it in. So I didn't realize how cropped it was, particularly inside of Shein. I didn't realize before I was getting it. But when I got it, I was like, wow, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off, right? But what I noticed is if I was able to make sure that this part, this big hoe part, didn't fully show, but it just showed like this top of the chest almost. Um, and also if I paired these with some dress pants or some really nice pants, what would it do? What it does is it takes the look from more of like a party, you know, vibe, but it takes it to a more elevated look. It just looks like a really creative top. And so now if I would have paired this with some blue jeans and this, then it would kind of give me a more younger look. 
um, and it would look a little more, more knocked together. But since I paired it with dress pants, um, I felt a little more put together. I still felt my age. I didn't feel like I was trying to show too much skin. I just thought this was a really creative top that would look really, really nice. And so I will tell you, when I am online and I am shopping, I look for things that I think that I can jet, zhuzh up. Because the reality of it is, even though I dress modest, there are some things out there that I really want to try. Like, for example, this particular top. Like, I love the color. I love the vibe of it. I even love, like, this, like, extra string here. You know, I wasn't crazy about the circle here, but I loved that line. Like, I love the creativity in this top. And so for me, I was like, I would love to try that. Let's see if we can work with it. And even with this zebra top like the zebra top actually has an opening right here but the way I've done it is I can kind of just kind of close it right and you could always get a pin as well it's already kind of here but you can always get a pin as well but I chose to wear a little more modest and so that's what I love wearing blouses and tops and stuff that you can be super creative so I hope those looks kind of inspired you on your journey of doing modest looks and modest fashion because the reality of it is sis it's not rocket science it's not rocket science all it is is you finding your personal style look at the way you used to dress before you got saved then look at the way you started to dress when you was kind of in between and then take those pieces and merge them together into a style that you actually feel comfortable you feel like your best version and you feel beautiful and I want to encourage you, you don't have to go out and buy new pieces. What you can do is you can find that cute top you have in your closet and you can pair it with those nice jeans and you can throw on some jewelry and something like that and you can really bring an outfit to life, right? You can take that one blouse in your closet that you really never wear, but pair it with a, nice, with a simple pair of jeans and some jewelry and girl, you can pop off, okay? So I just hope this video inspired you to glow up your personal style this summer because I know that's what I'm trying to do, sis. I'm even trying to step up my style challenge myself to get things you know like things like this or things like this that I never would really go for I've challenged myself even like this particular print like this is not really a Morgan vibe but challenging myself to try these things actually showed me how much more I liked it so I would encourage you try to get the thing that you say, I like it, but it's not me, right? Try that out because what you're going to learn is that you actually have more levels to your style than you think you do, boo. Okay? So anyways, I said a lot in this video. I want you, sis, to comment down below your favorite look. And also, I want you to take some time to figure out how you can glow up your personal style and you can become the woman that God has been showing you. So ladies, I will see you in my next video. Please make sure you subscribe. You have followed me on the gram. And don't forget, it's a glow up season. <laughs>